What's up, A3 crew? Pilot83 here. We're going to do a little tutorial on how to navigate the DHC-4 Caribou using a little VOR navigation. So I'm going to show you just a little simple flight path using some VOR and going from VOR to VOR. This is something I highly suggest that all y'all really learn and get into, especially if you like older aircraft. Um, not too complex to learn. I'm going to cover uh, just a basic little flight plan here if y'all want something more extensive I can do that but there are some really really good pilots out there who have done some really good extensive teachings of this and how this works so real quick let's jump to the PC screen we're gonna go over that real fast alright guys so here we are we're on sky vector you're gonna need something like sky vector so you can find these VORs so you can jump between them to fly a flight plan to get to where you're trying to go so we are departing from Mobile International, all right? And Mobile right here is in the Vortac Brooklyn VOR. We're going to be going from there, going all the way down to the Softly Nun VOR, then to Pensacola, which once we get to Pensacola, we will intercept that runway frequency. So just some things about VOR. So VOR are these big circles. Think of it kind of like a like your giant heading or compass. In the center of it is the VOR that's giving out the frequency or signals. Then each of these notches, think of it kind of like a different flight path in or heading. They're called radials. Okay. So if we were leaving here and headed out this direction then that would be heading because there's inbound and outbound depending if we were leaving from the center or heading towards the center so that would be outbound 030 from the Brooklyn VOR the radio frequency which we'll be putting in is right down here 116.35 so you'll see we're departing Mobile International here and we're heading out on a what we call a omni bearing or radial here of 099er which will be flying for 38 nautical miles all the way to the softly nun VOR which is on frequency 112.25 which we will be switching to then switching to 088 uh, radial for eight nautical miles until we get to Pensacola here. Then once we get to Pensacola here, I'm going to be landing on ILS runway 17. So another frequency we will be using in our nav radio is going to be well for me at least if you're doing this flight plan is the 111.10 and then the heading for that approach which is 16. Nine zero. So basically, we want to keep all this information throughout our flight because we're going to need it, and we'll go more into it with the inbound and outbound and how all that works. So basically, we'll be putting in our nav radio starting off that we are one sixteen dot three five, and then we're going to put into our OBS the zero nine nine er, and then we're going to like I said, we're going to fly that till we're close enough to intercept the non VOR and then we're gonna fly all the way there until we cross over the center of this and then we're gonna switch over to the heading of 088 so I'll explain this in better detail when I'm in the plane actually flying so follow along watch what happens guys pretty easy let's get to it alright so as we were talking about our VOR so we were leaving the Brooklyn VOR so we need to put in that frequency, which is frequency uh, 116.35. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. So 116.35. Alright, and we should get this bar. See that appeared up there? 
you have this from and to. So this is going to say from, we got to put in the the bearing of the direct. So it said 099er for 38 nautical miles until we hit softly none VOR, which then it'll switch to 088 for eight nautical miles. And then we will land at Pensacola. So we need to go ahead and switch this right here to that 99. And it's going to say sometimes two up top until we get going up in the air. And it's going to switch and say back from from because we are leaving. Go ahead and switch this to 99. Our heading there to help keep us on course. We're going to give this baby some power to get her going. Flaps down two notches. Landing lights are already on. We're going to stay below 10,000 feet. Park and brake off. Let's go. Pay close attention to this right here. Think of this line as like your like your uh, like your flight path that you would follow on your Garmin, like your pink line. We want to try to keep this centered up here in the middle. Up. Gear up. Flaps up. Okay. This is going to switch around on us. There we go. Now it says from. Because now we are leaving outbound of the Brooklyn VOR. So since this is to the left, we need to move to the left. You see our heading is going that way. Like I said, we want to try to keep this center. We're going to be flies for 38 nautical miles. I usually try to keep it a little bit parallel. So if I'm flying over a VOR and I see that quick jump, I know to switch frequencies to the next VOR. So we're going to go ahead and try to center this on up. Obviously with this plane being fully hands-on, no autopilot, this can be a little bit of a challenge with wind and wind shear and drifting. We need to set our barometer by the way and our compass. So you, like I said, you notice where it says from, because we are leaving that VOR station. Which we look at our VFR here, you'll see this little blue circle here. So let's go ahead and start to intercept this radial. Gotta put the gear up there, guys. Don't worry about that. <sighs> I 
Cruise pumps off. Auto feather on. As you can see, I'm having some severe server issues the past couple of days. I mean, look at the world down there. It just looks horrible. Keep her flying nice and steady. Really focusing on this line. It shows where we are going. So we are going to the Nun VOR. Softly Nun. Got a little wind here rocking us a little left and right. And once I'm about halfway, we're going to switch over to the Softly Nun VOR station. Still saying from, which is good. We're parallel with the line, which is how I like to be. You're constantly going to be making adjustments with this plane as you do this, guys.
we'll even go over the ILS as well. As we come in and land. So we're close enough to none. Let's go ahead and switch over to the none VOR station. That is 112.25. Now I see where it says 2 because we are headed to none. was from because we were headed from the Brooklyn VOR. Keep in mind there are times where you have to do the reciprocal heading when you're going to VORs depending on exactly what your flight plan is and what you're doing. this line Raise up some altitude here and get up to about 3,000 feet as we go through this because we'll have eight miles and then we're going to switch to the ILS frequency of runway 17 of KPNS. For that we're going to be switching our heading on none VOR switching our bearing our radial so you see this line is taking us right over none softly VOR as we pass over it this is going to change from to to from as we head out.
the closer we get to it, the more harder it is going to be to keep this aligned. It's eventually going to be almost impossible to keep it centered, and then it's going to jump, and then it's just going to switch to to from. getting to that point. Boom, he just switched. We're now past the center. Switch this to eighty eight. Like I said, and this is only for eight nautical miles, so this is a short distance. basically bring us right up to Pensacola but we're gonna land on this runway right here going across So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that runaway ILS frequency, which is 111.10. All right, so you see how both of those just dropped. Turn out, come back in. We'll probably see some action happen as it gets behind us. So we loop back around in. And then if we go check that runaway, the approach is heading 169. What's up, Daewoo Lanos? Good to see you, brother. Also, he's also flying this beautiful aircraft.
So you see, it's trying to try to it's trying to sit her up there. Our localizer and approach. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're slowing down, bringing her on in. Looking good. I'm going to go ahead and turn off EFR here. Turn off auto feather. sideways is okay though pay attention to my buddy there all right so watch our lines there See our heading bug, the 169, which is what we're going to be on. Local localizer is below us, so we're a little high. It's calm down. So we were high on the localizer, as you saw, I just lined the best we landed there. But good demonstration there showing y'all how you want to be. You want to basically try to keep both of those centered up as you land and have those just like the cross right there, guys. 
But uh, I hope this video helps y'all out at all. If y'all have any questions, let me know, guys. I'll try to do what I can here to help y'all. What's up, Danos? These planes look good. But as always, guys, I am Pilot83. I'll see y'all in my next video. Always doing what I can to help y'all. Come join the Discord in the description below. I'll see y'all in my next video. Ah, oh, these planes look amazing. Till next time, guys. United we fly. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys. See you in the air.